In this video, we'll show you how to get and install Java on Windows for Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you're trying to install mods with Forge or get shaders with Optifine, or maybe you're trying to run a server file, you'll need to install Java on your computer first. It's the program that lets those jar files run. Alright, to download it, you can open up a web browser on your computer and then go to java.com. Now here, you can click download Java for desktop and then download the latest version. Let's click that. You can save it anywhere in your PC. By default, it's going to be a downloads folder. Once the download is finished, you can right click on the XC files. Now here you can read the license terms. You don't need to do anything else. Just click install and wait for the installation process. After it's finished, you can press close. Before we get any further, a big thanks to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out the link in the pinned comment and the description. They've got great features like one-click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 servers and support, ultra a low latency and instant setup once again if you're in need of a minecraft server go and check them out link in the description and pin comment after install java you should be able to open jar extension files like forge or optifine installer you can right click on it open with and then you can open it up with Java or choose another app, select Java, and then select always. Now, if you're trying to open a jar extension, it'll always open up with Java. Now, if you're trying to run a Minecraft server, you probably need to download the developer kit or GDK as well. So you can go back to java.com and here you can click on developer downloads. There's different versions here. I'll go and get the latest JDK. So it's going to be JDK 25 for me. And then we're going to select Windows and download the X64 installer. You're going to save it somewhere in your PC. By default, it's going to go to the downloads folder. After it's finished downloading, we can open up the installer, right click on it, open. Now here, you just click next. You can change where to install, but you don't need to do that. So you just click next and it will start the installation process. Wait for it to finish. After it's successfully installed, you can click close and you're good to go. But after you install everything and it still doesn't open correctly, you may need to run a program called Jarfix to fix it. So you can go back to your web browser and search for Jarfix. And then you can go to this website here, the one by Johan Lufman. Go ahead and download the .exe file right here. After it's downloaded, you can open up the .exe files, right click on it, open. You'll see a small window saying it's successful. Click OK. Now you can try running your jar file again and it should work. 